What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Tima, I'm a piano music. So, man, my boy Drake, he's playing the game the right way. I'm telling you guys, like, he invites Instagram models over to his house. He ignores them. You know, uh, he just don't have no love for the Tatianas. And he, 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 you know, outside of something showing that he did get the little porn star chick pregnant. That was, he was simping. But, you know, after that mistake, he, he seemed to have, you know, got everything uh, back in life. Okay. But my boy Drake is going through um, a lawsuit. And that's the one thing about being rich. Stop the show. You're going to get sued a hell of a lot uh, for no reason. Because people are broke and they're dusty and they're poor. And you don't want to work. So what you want to do is go sue people who actually have made money because you're lazy. And rewind, Demo. The year is 2017. Drake has homes all over the world, especially in Los Angeles. He's not there. There is this sister by the name of Misha Collins. Stop the show. We know what she is. We know huh, what her ethnicity is, don't we? She broke into... His L.A. home, April 3rd, 2017. Stop the show. Drake was not there. Drake didn't know who she was until papers were filed. Now, because Drake is a nice guy, he didn't file any criminal charges against her. Aww. All right? But can I get a ta 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 sound effect? <laughs> She's filing some charges against Drake. What? What is she saying? This is according to Radar Online. Tiny music! According to the court documents obtained by Radar Online, the lawsuit filed by Collins is accusing certified lover boy of using her name and likeness in defamatory matters by releasing music. Stop this, stop the show. Who, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I mean, uh, nobody knows you! You are a bum! Bum! You're somewhere weaving a sound and broke. You're breaking into people's houses. Your breath smell like old ass Cheetos. Who knows you? Nobody knows you. Nobody even likes you. All right, boo. Like, just go sit down. Stop. For the love of God. Nobody got to use your goddamn name or images in nobody's music. You're a bum. Okay. Now, you know, basically, he invaded her privacy and revealed to the world where she lived. Stop the show. If that's true, which is not. Well, we wouldn't know who you are if you weren't breaking in people's houses. Where, where are you from? Um, the Hoover Crypt or something like that? Where are you, where, where are you from? Rolling 60s? I mean, no diss to nobody, but I'm just saying, like, what Crypt gang are you from? All right? Damn. Oh, sea walking ass. Now, let me just say this real quick, okay? This is how, you know, let me let me tell you this. This is, this is what's going on right now in the world for you guys who are on the verge of getting money. And I want to tell black men this because um, I've seen things happen, and just in the mental circle. Guys like AMS, I've seen guys come up like Kevin Samuels. I've seen a guy come up like Medical Tutorial Reviews. I've seen a guy like Poor Man's Podcast come up. Stop the show. Number one, I've seen me come up because I'm balling! I'm buying all the weaves and sandals. Planet on at gmail.com, ladies, if you want some. But seriously, I want to talk to black men right now. I want you to know that when you start getting money, okay, you are target. Not only are you target for people to use you and want to borrow money from you, you're target for people who want to sue you. That's the number one way people lose their money is through lawsuits. All right. And this is why you have to play the game so close. This is why it's so important to get attorneys. I mean, you see what's going on now. You have to get attorneys, right? You have to you have to really fly. Um, uh, uh, you know, you have to really drive a, a great car here, if you want to say that. And I'm not talking about you know drive a great car as far as the brand, but you're gonna have to you know drive really disciplined, right? You don't want to get pulled over. And and, and and this is what's happening here because it only takes one of these stupid lawsuits to win, and then Drake is completely broke. Or you got to go through all those civil litigations and the law costs. All right, groupies are now trying to get guys wealth without even having a baby by them. That's how desperate it is. At least a chick would be able to say, oh, he tried this with me. Oh, he threatened me. Oh, he got me pregnant. 
you know, the same kind of thing that's going on with Tristan Thompson. They could at least do that. Now they're not even doing that. Now they're just saying like, hey, you know, um, I know you and I broke into your house. And by the way, I feel that you were talking about me in one of your songs. So I'm suing you for defamation. That's scary. And I feel for guys who are superstars. OK, I really do. Because let's say, you know, let's say, for example, he, he was talking about her or anything like that. If she could kind of prove it, that was him. He could pay something. But that's just how it goes. And really, he did her a solid when she didn't get you know charged with the criminal charges. Let me tell you guys something. We got to stop being nice to people just because they're women. You break into my house. <laughs> felony. You're going to no. You, 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 listen, going to jail, period. OK, you're not going to break into my house. I'll let you get off and you sue me for a billion. You're going to jail. You want to break in, try to come in there naked and then probably try to say I'm and this is what I probably think. Story time music. She broke into the place, right? Hoping that Drake was there, take off all her clothes, then call the cops and say he was trying to uh, assault her. The game is getting weird, guys. And black men really got to be ready for what's coming at. A lot of you brothers out there, some of y'all are going to have different kinds of money. You're not going to have entertainment money, but some of you guys are going to have investment money. Some of you guys are going to have Bitcoin money. Some of you guys are going to have all kinds of other things going on. Some of you are going to be broke and dusty and breath going to be stinking. We know that too. But for the guys that are going to be productive, you got to understand where this is coming to. And if these pandemics keep coming along, and then a lot of these people that are doing this didn't invest in themselves, didn't invest in their skill sets, but they got to eat still, right? They got to pay their rent. And if they can't get a job, you're going to pay their rent. And if, if, you, if they can't be in a relationship and get you to pay their rent, they're going to do it by allegations. So you got to be careful who you deal with. Again, you got to be careful who you're talking to. You got to be careful who you're talking about. You got to be careful who you're letting into your life or who is trying to break your, their way into your life. All right. Got to be careful. Look at Tristan Thompson. He's a great example of, you know, why you just don't mess with anything. Why, when you get money, you have to act like it. All right. The more money you have, the, the, the less common that you need to be. More money, less commonality. All right. It is what it is, guys. You know, and even though Drake didn't do anything wrong, look at what's going on with him right now. And I, I've been I've been begging black men, you know, start to think like this before you get money. So when you get it, your mind is already developed because you don't want the money to start developing. The money coming in is growing faster than you. If the money is growing faster than your personal development, it's going to be a problem. That's why you start early. OK, I don't care if you're broke right now. Start thinking about how you're going to behave right now. So that when you get those blessings to come your way or you've worked so hard to get those things, you're ready for it mentally. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains on all-time high. I'm